Hello everybody, this is John Cox, Master Cartoonist, and that is not my hand. I am here with my brother, William. Hello everyone. Hello. And today we're going to uh, do some egg painting for an Easter party. Now, with disclaimer, I may not I may not be able to vlog at the Easter party. I mean, I could try, but the trick is uh, I don't want to uh, film a lot of people, you know. And some people may bring their kids, so obviously they can't be in the video. Mainly, if I do vlog anything at the party, it'll mainly be just like, you know, food and stuff probably. Just bits and pieces of stuff like that. It's not gonna be. I'm not. I'm not an expert vlogger. I'm not like JD vlogs or anything. Um, what we're doing now is this is some sort of a life hack for painting eggs. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. It's something I picked up off of Pinterest. So uh, hopefully this should turn out well. Full apologies if it doesn't. Right. Actually, it looks pretty cool. That is actually shaving cream, believe it or not. And you just put on some blue, some green and blue food coloring. And we do have the red and yellow over there, of course. Actually, I think I could use all the green if I'm going to use all the blue. Because if I followed this correctly, it's going to come out as sort of a rainbow color anyway. With a purplish tint. Awesome. Kathy, you want to... No, of course she doesn't. I didn't think so, but... Oh, hello. Let's see, we got my dog, Jack, and that's William's dog. Right there. Okay, here we have the pot full of eggs, hard-boiled eggs, before we're ready to color them. It's quite a lot of eggs in there. Look at how he's mixing this. Isn't it pretty? Sort of a nice swirly job there. It's colorful. It's good. The trick is incorporating all of the food coloring so that there's no white blotches anywhere. And actually, that gives more of a greenish tint, but I'm not going to complain because it is Easter. Yep. Okay, now we're starting to put the eggs in the eggs in the mixture. So we're plopping in there. It's nice. And uh, what are we doing after they come out of the mixture? When we pull them out of the mixture, what we will do is we will pack them dry with a paper towel. Okay, we got the paper towels right there, and look at those beautiful, colorful buckets we got. Isn't that nice? You know, the way they're going into the mixture right now, it's almost like the Easter Bunny hiding them in the grass, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly right. It, it does have an almost greenish hue to it, as you can see, but it's got all four colors mixed in there. It's kind of nice. Well, that's funny, because I followed the... Um, instructions and the lady that did it, she had it almost purple, but I guess she had more darker food coloring. Probably. I guess I should start taking some out because it's starting to overflow. And, uh, there really is no clean way of doing this. As you can tell, it's a process that is going to use up a lot of paper towels. Come to think of it, I probably could have saved my hands and... Well, here's the thing. I was supposed to help with that. Um, so I tell you what, guys. That's all the content I'm going to show. I'm going to stop this vlog and continue helping him with the uh, Easter eggs. Uh, I want to throw in, if you can get a pair of tongs, I recommend it. Yeah. Uh, Kathy, leave all that alone, sweetheart. 
Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you another time. Bye.